born, Hibbing raised Bob Dylan has been called by others poet, prophet, and even evangelist over the years. Few know what he calls himself because he rarely grants interviews. Musician Paul Metza from Virginia thinks what many see as aloofness in Dylan is really just his proclivity to hard work. He's got a real Iron Range work ethic. I mean, even miners retire at 65. He just got done at uh, going on 82 a tour of Japan. Dylan's aloof nature today makes some people think he was a loner during his youth in Hibbing. But his circle of friends included future Northland sports anchor Cal Sabatini and future UMD PR person Susan Beasy. Susan would grow up to marry radio legend Lou Lotto, who promoted the 1959 Buddy Holly concert that Dylan mentioned during the 1998 Grammy Awards. At one time when I was about 16 or 17 years old, I went to see Buddy Holly play at uh, in a Duluth National Guard Army. Bob Dylan's innermost circle included Melvin Rotsey and Dale Boutang. The three bonded over a shared love of motorcycles. Rotsey has passed away, but his granddaughter says even as a teen, Dylan was writing poetry. One of his poems was about his friends. Um, they were all just sitting around and my grandpa started arm wrestling Butang and Bob Dylan always likes to write about what he's seen so he saw that and wrote the poem. Waiting in the house was Rotsy on the bed. I'm gonna pin Butang's arm, Melvin then said, goes the first couplet of the poem. Dale Butang held on to the poem for decades until selling it to the Minnesota Historical Society for more than $12,000. Haley Rotsey, a fresh UMD grad, is more musically inclined to Taylor Swift than Bob Dylan, but is still proud her grandfather was a part of a rock legend's life. Yeah, it is kind of cool just to have like that kind of story, especially being from Hibbing and how successful Bob Dylan has been. That success helped other musicians from the North Country know that a Dylan-style work ethic can make a difference. And for me as an Iron Ranger, uh, the lesson that's still true to this day was you can get there from here. Holding on to history and Hibbing, Dave Anderson, Northern News Now.